Jumbo fellow dreamers, today's video I am going to give you my top tips on how to look expensive, especially when it comes to work or going out clothes for a fraction of the cost. I'm Anne and this is Annie's Simple Life. top tip is check Pinterest before you go shopping. Get some Pinterest inspiration, or they call it Pinspiration. I absolutely love the fashion pictures on Pinterest. It helps just to give me some ideas. Um, most of the shopping that I do isn't like a normal, regular department store, and I'll get into that in a second. And um, I like to just get inspiration, get color combinations, things that I wouldn't normally think of on my own. It allows me to be a little more creative when I am shopping for my work clothes. So that is a great place to start. Check Pinterest. I do have a styles I'm loving board and I will link that in the description bar below. Tip number two, after you have checked your Pinterest and gotten color combination inspiration, head to your local thrift store and get ready to dig. So at my thrift store, I have found some amazing deals. This top actually is originally from Ann Taylor Loft. I'm sure it retailed for upwards of $50 and I got it for $3.99. So most of my tops at my local thrift store are either $3.99 or $5.99, depending on the type of shirt it is. And a lot of them are name brands, things like Banana Republic, Anthropology, Ann Taylor Loft, or regular Ann Taylor, Talbots, etc. So tons of name brand clothes. You just have to dig and have patience and have an open mind, which is what goes back to that Pinterest thing. It's really all about fit and color more so than name brand. There are three other stores that I also like to look at if I am able to do the budget of maybe $10 to $15 for my shirt rather than $3.99, $5.99. And these stores are Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Style Encore. Marshalls and TJ Maxx are really one and of the same. You know, they're just discounted retailers. You pay a fraction of the price of what you would pay at the normal retail store. Style Encore is more of a, um, kind of like a thrift store, but for very, very high-end things. It's like a Plato's Closet, if you have those in your area. People sell their clothes to the store and they resell them kind of at a, a steep discount at the Style Encore stores. And so if you have high-end things, you can sell them and get a few dollars for them. They're not gonna pay you a ton of money, um, but it works out for the consumer because you are able to get items that are really, really, really nice for an incredibly good discount. I actually went in there and I bought two pairs of jeans the other day um, and I spent $16 on them, but I had a $10 off coupon, so I only spent $6 for two pairs of jeans, so. That was pretty good. Tip number three is where I purchase my accessories. So for shoes, I head straight to DSW or Payless. Mostly DSW and here's why. So these heels I got from DSW and they were originally priced at $250. They were on sale at DSW for $119 plus on like one of their crazy 90% discount things. So I got these under $25 and they are awfully cute. I've worn them so they're a little worn now, um, but they are, I'm gonna say this wrong, pour la victory? I don't know. How do you guys say that? I was pretty excited to find these and I liked that they were kind of a neutral brown color. It goes with a lot of things that I own. Um, when I was working out of the house more than I do, I would stick with either a neutral, kind of a brown neutral shoe, or I would go with a black shoe and they would go with really any outfit that I had. Let's talk watches. So I really like big statement watches. They're kind of like in right now. Here's one of them that I have and I have, almost exclusively purchased my watches from Steinmart, actually. Steinmart has really great prices on big watches. Um, and they just look really nice. I mean, they look like really high end. This is a Relic brand, um, which I don't think is the most expensive watch there is, but it's all about, you know, how it looks from afar, because no one's really gonna be staring at your watch. Um, there have been some really good deals as well on eBay, and I posted about those on the uh, during the holidays. 
and I'll post a link below to some of them. They had some of the watches for 90% off and they were originally like $500 watches, pretty crazy. Um, but I really like doing Steinmark and eBay for my watches and uh, you'll pay a fraction of the price of what you would pay even at like a Kohl's or a Target. So check those places out for big statement watches. Okay, let's talk jewelry and scarves. So there are two places that I like to go when I'm looking for those types of accessories and one is New York & Company, the other one is Charming Charlie. So New York & Company always has really nice statement kind of pieces. This one is um, one that I got from New York & Company, I don't know, maybe two years ago, something like that. And it's really long and it works really nicely with sweaters. And this was on an incredibly deep discount. I think I got this for maybe $7 and I got a matching bracelet with it as well. And New York & Company will oftentimes have either coupons or if you have the credit card, you get special discounts from that. Or they'll have discounts going on, just regular sales and tons of clearance stuff all the time. Go end of the season and you'll get some really nice jewelry pieces that, that, I mean, it's not like made out of gold or even sterling silver or anything like that. They're definitely costume kind of jewelry pieces, but they're really inexpensive and they look really nice. So check out New York & Company. The other place that I like to go is Charming Charlie and they have a really nice online store. I'll link it below. And they, if you've never been in a Charming Charlie before, I mean, it's like, an organized person's dream. It's pretty ridiculous. I first went to one in Miami in August. It's, I mean, literally you walk in and there are just like little, I don't know if they're kiosks, I guess that's really little displays and everything is color coded. Oh, it's like an organizer's dream. You walk in, you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> So if you need something coral, you go to the coral section, bingo bango, you're done. And they have really, really great prices on all their stuff. They have excellent prices on scarves as well. I was able to get a scarf for myself. It was an infinity scarf for $5. They have really nice colorful bags as well. Really inexpensive. They also have clothes too, but I'm mostly all about Charming Charlie for the accessories because they're just such nice quality and they're really, really inexpensive. Now, if you're wanting some sort of a jewelry piece that is high end, you know, like a Michael Kors watch or, you know, some sort of a Tiffany's kind of necklace or bracelet or whatever, check eBay. eBay is a great place to look for those types of pieces. Let's talk purses, shall we? So um, if you want to have a really nice Louis bag or, you know, some sort of a designer handbag. There are a number of places to look for those. I would not go to the Goodwill. That is one place I would not go. However, like I said before, Style Encore carries a ton of different purses that are all name brand and they're all verified completely 100% true, real, authentic handbags. So that's a nice place to go. If you don't really care about the name brand, you just want something that's really nice and colorful or really big for your laptop and a couple other things, but doesn't look like a man's laptop bag, check out Marshall's. I have found some awesome bags at a really great discount at Marshall's. I, there was one bag that I loved and it I wore it out to death. It was a pink and blue faux snakeskin purse that I just adored. And it was probably $15. It was huge and I was using it to carry music at the time. And um, it was just the best purse ever. So I really highly recommend checking out Marshalls. If you have a little bit of extra money to spend, go to Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack has a lot of high-end purses, again, at a little bit of a discount. So if you're still wanting to spend that kind of high dollar, you can totally do that there and uh, still get a really nice purse for not too much money. And of course, I always like going to eBay to check out purses there. You have to be careful. Some of them are inspired by that aren't actually real authentic like Michael Kors or Kate Spade or whoever. Um, so you have to be careful that you're, if you're, if you care that you're buying a, an authentic purse from eBay, just have to kind of be careful and be conscientious that it may not be authentic. So let's talk hair accessories. If you have long hair like I do and you want some nice types of accessories, head to your local Forever 21. Forever 21 has a ton of hair accessories that I just adore. So cute and so inexpensive. So they have excellent prices on hair accessories. That's like my number one place to go to when I'm looking for 
their little hair doodads and headbands and all sorts of stuff like that. One other place I wanted to mention is Zulily, and Zulily is a website that hosts flash sales for companies. After the flash sale, normally two days has passed, then they will place the order for said item and it'll be shipped to you. So it does take a little bit of extra time, so if you're not in a hurry, this is a good website to check out. Generally, it takes between four or six weeks to get your item, but you get it at such a deep discount. So I'm just gonna use Tom's as an example. Every pair of Tom's shoes that I own, I have purchased through Zulily, and generally, if you buy them at Whole Foods or from the Tom's website, it's anywhere between, you know, 45 to $65, you know, just depending on the shoe. And Zulily will offer them for about 20 with like $5 shipping, something like that. So I really like using Zulily as a place to shop around and um, you can get great discounts if you're not in a hurry and you can find some really unique stuff. They have a lot of boutique kind of stores that use them for their flash sales. So you can get some really neat pieces that you can't really find in any stores around you. So check Zulily out if you've not done so already. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. Today's shout out from yesterday's video goes to Amanda Shappy from Twitter who is changing the way her family eats one meal at a time using those top 10 tips that I did in the video yesterday. If you are interested in that video, the link is in the description bar below. For a possible shout out in tomorrow's video, share this video on Facebook or Twitter with the hashtag Annie's Simple Life. If you've not done so already and you would like to hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a daily video from our dreamland. Kiss someone you love today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao!